I've had these two speakers, two speakers about three quarters built for maybe a year now. It's been a long time. I did the design a long time ago. It started off with the ScanSpeak Discovery Woofer, and I didn't get great results, so I switched over to this Dayton RS225-4 woofer and got much better results, so that's the way I went. The baffles had been coated with shellac and sanded back, and there had been one coat of primer on the originally walnut veneer. Um, so I needed a speaker for an event coming up tomorrow, so I figured I better hustle up and get these finished. So that's what I'm going to do now. Got my gun right here with the canister, some nitro gloves, we've got lacquer thinner, we've got the primer, the catalyst for the primer, some cleanup, towels and things like that, and some lacquer thinner that's already kind of dirty for just an initial wash out of the gun. Very important, a container with a pre-marked right there, see that marking? That's 300 milliliters. So I need 30 millimeters of catalyst if this is filled to 300 milliliters. Okay, the exact same setup again. We got our catalyst, we got our thinners. This time we have the resistant top coat.
have it guys, there's the results, I'm pretty happy, and tomorrow I'm going to head down to Victoria and go to a DIY event to show them off, and I'm also going to take my camera along to show you guys the creations I see down there. I think you'll be pretty impressed with some of the stuff that goes on there, it's a really fun event, I try to go every year, and so check out that video coming up once I get down there and see it for myself. If you like this video, maybe check out my other videos and subscribe and thumbs up and comment and everything that every YouTuber on YouTube tells you to do. Uh, it helps me out so I can get more content up for you guys. I need to get feedback so I know what you want to see and I'll act on that. I really will. Bye.